Well, well, well. Look who it is. The little cream puff who could. Back for more of my wisdom. Well, as it so happens, I'm in a generous mood today, so I'm going to teach you how to work out the right way. Not all gyms are created equal. Some are just downright garbage. I've been to thousands of gyms over the past few years, and I've put together a solid set of criteria that can help you choose the best gym with confidence. Alright, so the first criteria is mirrors. The gym's got to have a lot of mirrors. You can't check yourself out without mirrors. You can't stare at your biceps without mirrors. You really can't get anything done if the gym doesn't have any mirrors. So the second criteria is guy to girl ratio. You're going to want to have at least three girls for every guy in the gym. The last thing you want to do is walk into some sausage fest where 20 guys are fighting over the bench press. And let's be honest, you can't stare at yourself in the mirror the whole time you're at the gym, so you're going to want to have something else nice to look at as well. And the third criteria is the gym should have no stupid rules. I mean, if you want to slam weights against the wall and scream as loud as you can, this is America, so goddamn, you should be able to do it. And keep in mind, any gym that restricts you is being a communist. So after you've chosen the right gym, it's time to start sculpting that perfect body of yours. But there's one very important rule that I want you to take away from this video if you don't take away anything else. It's absolutely vital that you post about it on Facebook. If you don't update your status before going to the gym, you might as well not even go. So remember, every five minutes you should be having some activity on Facebook, letting people know that you're still at the gym. Let me give you a good example. Let's say you're doing something light, like you're walking on the treadmill. Go ahead and take a picture of the stats display every half mile. Then upload the picture to Facebook with an awesome caption like, New Year, New Me. And make sure you tag all of your friends so they know what's going on. But it doesn't end there. Some arrogant people on the internet might ignore your status updates, or even worse, they might not even see them. So it's important to make sure you always take a shirtless selfie when you're done and post it online. That way you let everyone know that you're serious. Now it's absolutely vital that you bring your phone with you to the gym. So that way you can load up the bar with all the weight, take a picture of it, post it to Facebook. Now here's one very, very important rule that most people are confused on. It's not actually that important to actually lift the weights. The important part is that everyone thinks that you lifted the weights. That way you can sit on the bench, everyone will see how much weight's on there, and then when you get up and walk away, they'll also see how much you left on there so they'll know, man, that guy's the real deal. Now when people see what you put on the bench press, they're going to want your advice. Now they may not ask for it, but keep in mind, most people are shy. So, it's still your responsibility to walk up to them and correct their form and keep in mind, just assume everyone's form is incorrect. Now my friends have all kind of different complicated workout regimens they have for different body parts. Don't do that because then it's going to start to feel like schoolwork. The best thing for you to do is just go to the gym and wing it. Now my friend Joe has a solid breakdown of all the exercises you need. Now there's really only two main exercises you ever need to use at the gym. The first one is the bench press. And the second one is curls. The good news is there are multiple types of curling machines at the gym, so you don't have to do the same type of curls every day. And don't forget to get as close to the mirror as possible. If you keep this up, pretty soon you're going to be charging admission to the gun show. gym you guys might see all kinds of different weird machines and free weights outside of the bench press and the curls make sure to stay away from those we think those are there for some kind of regulation or some kind of other legal nonsense but remember you want to stay outside of that twilight zone and stay in the realness after you have done the workout it's important to have a cool down phase I like to do a nice slow jog on the treadmill but be smart about this because you do not want to have a calorie deficit on this machine I like to go with Twinkies you can go with Ho-Ho's Hostess cupcakes, it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the job done. Now, to talk about post-workout meal, it's important that within 30 minutes of completing a workout, you consume some protein. Although scientists have recently debunked that myth saying that you don't need to consume protein within 30 minutes, you can actually take it later. But there is one thing that we do know, either it is important to consume protein within 30 minutes or it's not important. It could be either one of those two. 
So when you finish with your workout, you want to make sure you get a quality meal afterwards. So don't get something too unhealthy like McDonald's. Try to get something slightly healthier like Taco Bell. Now those guys won't serve you any kind of greasy french fries or anything like that. Those guys are okay in my book. They should be okay in yours. Now that you know the proper way to work out, you're that much closer to becoming a champion. But for those of you extra dedicated people out there, let me give you a little bonus tip. Workout attire is very important. It puts you in the right mindset to dominate. For example, watch this. Notice how I wasn't able to lift that. All right, now notice what I'm wearing? Now I'm ready to go. Watch this. Much easier. Now before this workout advice, I couldn't even do one pull-up. Now I can do like so many. 